We really have talked about rebuilds at Manchester United, multiple rebuilds, multiple clearouts, get rid of Devwood, X, Y, Z, only to be left disappointed. But this summer, I swear to God, it's, it's happening. It's already started. Today's been a good day as far as that goes for Manchester United. But Eric Ten Hag and what's done already, good, it started. Let's go. But United need to crank that into fourth gear and let's hit it hard and hit it fast. I'm a bit excited to do this video because... I think this is so important for what's coming next and what's coming ahead for Manchester United. So I wanted to do that. The, the, the clear out really has started in earnest. And I feel like in the next couple of weeks, man, it's going to get a bit crazy for Manchester United. But in a good possible sense, I think so anyway. Please do uh, subscribe by the end of the video if you enjoy. But let's get straight into this one. As I said, it's the sort of video that I think I've wanted to do for a long time at Man United. But we just never have. We just never have done it. But look at what's happened already, right? You go over here, Matic was the first one to announce he was leaving the club. I think he'd done it himself back in April. Matic leaving, good. Number one on the list. That's what we need. Let's start. Next up, Edinson Cavani. Confirmed farewell. Yeah, goodbye, Edinson Cavani. It's a shame, really, what's happened to him this year, given how class he was when there were no fans in the stadium. That sucks. That really did suck. Nice chant. Decent goals. Happy he's gone. Two players leaving. Lee Grant. Nobody really knew what Lee Grant did at Manchester United. Well, we, we, we all do. Like, all jokes aside, he was a third-choice goalkeeper. He played two times in four years. He was... That's it. Lee Grant. Gone. But three names. Three officially done. And then today, a really big day for Manchester United. Paul Pogba is done. It's dusted. And there's no more conversations or fears, maybe, that Pogba could sign a new contract. It's buried. It's good. It's done. Move on. Vamos. And you can also add Jesse Lingard's name to that list too. The clear out really has kicked into gear. I mean, of course, they were all going to be leaving anyway, but it's just it's good to get the official confirmation and it just puts a big smile on my face. And I don't mean to be an asshole in saying that, but shit me, we've we've been a club that's just been an armchair for so many players for so many years. And it's just nice to see them leaving. So that's five already confirmed. And of course, one matter will be the next one to be made official. I don't know when that's going to be happening. But one matter's name is going to be next on that list. I don't think people will be celebrating one matter's departure in the same way. Maybe that they're going to be celebrating Paul Pogba's or Jesse Lingard's matter. Oh, I think matter's been, look, 285 appearances for the club. 51 goals. I didn't know he scored that many goals for the club. Who knew? I hope Mata comes back to Manchester United as an ambassador. But it's right that he leaves this summer. So when he leaves, that will be Matic, Cavani, Grant, Pogba, Lingard and Mata gone. Boom, six names off the, out, out of the squad. Trimming down that squad. Getting rid of the bloat that isn't adding to the quality of the starting eleven. And then we should really, and this is where it has to start for United. I want us, look, we've got Andy O'Boyle in. We've got John Murto there. He's got his new right-hand man, somebody who works underneath him, can take away a lot of responsibilities to do with the first team, to do with uh, and the women's team as well, to do with the youth team set. Lots and lots of day-to-day -day bureaucracy is taken off John Murto's plate, allowing him to focus on transfers. And John, man, your to-do list is pretty exhaustive. I'll probably put this man on top of it. Find Phil Jones a new club. Simple as that. I don't think we'll struggle, actually. I, I, I told you at the start of the season, I said the best case scenario for Manchester United this year was Phil Jones having an injury-free season. Phil Jones, he's had an injury-free season. I, why why Matt have made more appearances? My God. Look at that. I don't, didn't realise that. That's how bad his injuries have been. Why Matt has made like 60 more appearances than Phil Jones. Who knew? Phil Jones. Probably one of the first names on that list. A bloated squad, wages that count for nothing. A player, no, no offense to Phil, but again, no, fuck it, no offense. I don't care. Well, I don't care about any of these players, but I care more about Manchester United. And I, I'm taking the emotion out of this. That's what this video is about. Taking the emotion out of it. And every single one of these decisions makes sense for Manchester United, first and foremost. And I would probably add Eric Bailly to that list. Eric Bailly is going to go down as one of those players saying, Real shame about his injury problems. He could have been a good player at United. And that's it. Eric Bai, last year, with the way that he was managed by Solskjaer and by uh, Ralph Radnick, he's not happy anymore. Let's cash in. 
10 to 15, 20 million, move him on. He'll go and enjoy a few years elsewhere. Maybe back at Villarreal. Bye is just going to be one of those signings that didn't work out. This is one I want to happen this summer. I'm not sure it will. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Of course, he's been linked with the move back to Crystal Palace, and we've covered it in detail. But this is about United, as I said, taking the emotion out of the decision. From a footballing perspective, Wan-Bissaka's skill set, Wan-Bissaka's progression has not been enough. The price we pay for him, wow, that's another bitter pill to swallow. But shit, just add that into the fact that we paid £90 million for Paul Pogba, and he's going to leave on a free. Add that into the fact that we paid £80 million for Harry Maguire and had a trousers pulled down. We've made some horrendous transfer decisions over the last eight, nine years. Lo and behold, we're in this situation. That has to stop this summer. wan in my opinion, needs to be shipped on. Cut your losses. Send him to Crystal Palace on loan for a year with an with a intention to buy. Hopefully, we can get 20 to 25 million. I think that's a reasonable amount. And it should be. If English, English tax, Premier League tax. Oh, add the Man United tax onto that. wan adding it to that list. Again, taking the emotion out of it. Alex Tellez. Now, you might say, Sam, hold on, mate. you're trying to sell the whole squad. Who's going to play? We've still got Luke Shaw there. We've still got Alvaro Fernandez there. You've still got Diogo Delo. You've got uh, Brandon Williams, who's come back on like, from loan. He can play in both fullback positions. I think we might even sign a fullback. Jeez, we've got, we've, even when you sell all these players, we still have a big squad. Alex Tellez, not done enough since he came in from Porto. Cash in on him this summer. Try and cut our losses. I don't think really he's going to come and have any sort of long-term impact in this squad anymore. Tellez for me, like my, look, you, you could easily see United keeping both wan Bissaka and Tellez this summer and maybe shipping them on the year after. But if, if, if I'm just saying everything I would like to happen this summer, I think both of those would be on the out list. Now, this one I'm surprised I'm adding to the list, I suppose. But I, I'm putting him on this list because I do not think we can keep him happy next year. Unless he's our number one, I don't think he's going to be our number one. Therefore, practically, he's on this list. From a purely from a, now, you can argue whether you think Dean Henderson's good enough. I think he's got qualities. I think he can progress. At the age of twenty-five, he wants regular Premier League football. He's not going to get that at Manchester United anymore. If we can sell him for the likes of twenty-five, thirty million to Newcastle, boo -boo -boo, take it. Take my money. You might say, Sam, don't strengthen an oil club that could end up doing a city. I'd be like, man, maybe. But I'll also take 20, 30 million for Dean Henderson and I'll be able to reinvest it into the squad. I just don't think we're going to be able to keep him happy next year and keep him in the squad. That's why I think so anyway. So sell him. Get rid of him. Boom. Andreas Pereira, pre-season Perlo, who scored an absolute corker, by the way, the other day for Flamengo. Calm down, Andreas. Calm down. Leave. 26 years old. Only made 75 appearances for United. My God. Has a serious head of white hair as well. Andreas Pereira. I'm sorry, my friend. Leaving the club. There is no place for Andreas Pereira anymore. There is no place for any of these players, in, well, in my opinion, anymore. And I will definitely include Anthony Martial in that. Probably you would be surprised that he's later on this list, but geez, he was just on the strikers. He was further down the squad list on the Man United website. Martial. We sent him on loan to Sevilla. Didn't work out there. Who could possibly have seen that coming? We've got to cash in on Martial. It has to happen this summer. Look, he's 26. I think he can go on and score plenty of goals elsewhere. Nearly 300 appearances for the club. 80 goals he scored. Wow, look at that. Look at the compare there. You got him with 269 appearances and 79 goals. And Wan Mata with 285 appearances and 51 goals. My God, Wan Mata. I love Wan Mata, man. I can't wait to see him hopefully come back to the club as an ambassador. But Martial, I'm adding him to the list. So look, you can talk about here. Let's run through this completely. We've got Matic, already gone. Cavani, already gone. Grant, Already retired. Well, where's he gone? Ipswich? I think he's gone Ipswich. Pogba, already gone. Lingard, already gone. Wan Mata's going to be next. Then we need to see Phil Jones, sold. Bai, sold. Wan Bissaka, sold. Tellez, sold. Dean Henderson, loaned or sold? Yeah, we'll see. Andreas Pereira, sold. Anthony Martial, sold. Let's get it done, man. Let's get it moving. This summer, I'm, I, I, I think I've said this a few times. Look, you can tell I'm excited. Really, I'm excited because... Shit, we have been stuck in the mud as a football club so long. To the point where I can genuinely say that 12 players, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. Yeah, who knew? Seven, who cares? 12, 13 players can leave this squad this summer and our starting 11 doesn't go down in quality. 
that shows how big the summer clear out has to be. Why I'm excited about it. Why I'm excited to see it starting and the wheels turning. Let's start selling, man. It's a fire sale at United this summer. United, get it started. I'm just, I'm excited to see this genuine clear out. And this really is going to be a summer. It's not an evolution. It's proper revolution happening on the Ten Hag. Who do you think will be sold? We've already talked about the keep or sell, but it's started now. And I'm excited about it. But I wanted to do this video. Sorry. Actually, who am I apologizing for? <laughs>